Hi guys, welcome everyone. Um, I am in Copenhagen, yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone. God, there's so many of you here now. Uh, let's see who we have here. Airlines, welcome. Casper, welcome to you too. Quentin, welcome. Extremer. Um, we have Bengan, welcome. English Bob, Stream King, Carlos. Uh, who else is says Perry this here, welcome, Steam King, Macedonia Yoshi, and the guy I can't pronounce the name of uh, because it's all in Japanese and I constantly forget what your name is. Sorry about that, dude. Uh, we have, uh, did I say welcome to you, Snowy? Well, in case I did, I know done it twice. Arias is here, welcome, and um, thank you, sir. Um, it's your Thanks to you that we are in Copenhagen. Uh, Lines14, welcome to you. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Vortrans and Trucker van Gleve, welcome to both of you. And Smell It and John H, welcome. So, it's raining, but we are in Copenhagen. Uh, let's have a look at the map before we begin. We started out in Kirkenes, Norway, uh, and went all the way down to Stockholm and then Copenhagen yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday, two days ago, two days ago. Uh, some of you might know that we had um, some minor issues here outside of Copenhagen. Those problems have been fixed by Arias. Um, so we are now at the gas station. I planned to stop for the night um, the gas station I couldn't reach but now we are there so uh, we're gonna continue 4821 kilometers to go uh, and we won't reach our destination tonight uh, fact is I think we if we are lucky we might make it to um, uh, Turkey perhaps but again that is if we are lucky, because this truck isn't fast at all. It is actually pretty slow. 330 horsepower, 22 tons of cargo, um, maximum speed of perhaps some 80 kilometers an hour, 90 going downhill. So, um, yeah, it's going to take a while. And of course, I do want to follow the traffic rules. I do not want any speeding tickets. I think we only got one during the last stream, one speeding ticket. Um, no crashes at all, which has to be some kind of a record for me, doing 2,000 kilometers uh, without um, crashing. Uh, what I also should have said about the map, by the way, is that I made some minor changes. Uh, Perid uh, correctly pointed out that the route we did, or had planned, included um, a tiny bit of USSR. And back in the 60s and 70s, I don't think they um, uh, deliberately went through the USSR coming from uh, Western Europe so uh, we are going a little bit more to the west in Germany today nothing big really but just trying to avoid the uh, USSR to make it as accurate as possible uh, Smelly I'm in live chat but I'm looking at the road <laughs> Robert, welcome. Uh, whoever said anything before Perit said and no GDR now, I missed it. Please repeat. Gbay442, uh, <laughs> uh, welcome. That Rasmus is here. Welcome to you too. Uh, and I'm on a Logitech G25. Uh, Tim Parker, welcome. Darkness Eagle, welcome. Snowy0915, welcome to you too. Yeah, it was GDR, but that was part of the... Uh, wasn't it part of the USSR?
And the brakes are horrible too, of course. Those of you who didn't watch the um, first part, this skin is available for download. It's found in the video description. So um, if you want something that is pretty close to the authentic Bandar Abbas Express um, paint scheme they used on those trucks back in the 60s and 70s for the 106 hauls they did from Norway down to um, Bandar Abbas uh, that skin is available in the video description it is for the XPS F88 I don't need the um, Road to Black Sea right now, really. That's the last thing I want, actually, right now. <laughs> uh, it would be horrible if that came out, but it won't. Uh, for better or worse, it won't come out this week. Uh, first signs of, um, of Black Sea will be the beta version of 136. Then when 136 is released, we'll have the Black Sea as well, but that's probably at least a couple of months away. Hola, Samuel Beltra. Welcome. Are we talking football? How boring. <laughs> Speaking of other sports, or speaking of sports, um, Formula One in Singapore this weekend. Uh, practice one and two tomorrow, of course, but we're still gonna do the um, the last part of this haul tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Arias. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want me to shut up, I'll just shut up and uh, focus on uh, hauling instead. That could work <laughs> for like the three people who would actually like, want to watch that, but <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> um, as always, the goal is to have no crashes. Uh, no speeding tickets, no accidents or incidents of any kind. Uh, let's see how how that goes. <laughs> uh, you want me to read your messages, Smelly? Um, okay, I'm gonna one more time, Smelly. You probably said something very important. Please, one more time. I'm now only going to focus on Smelly and what he has to say. Um, I'm waiting for you, Smelly. <laughs> Please don't take this personally, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Well, Smelly, it can't be that important if you can't be bothered typing it one more time. I have live chat. Christ, hang on. Um, it very much says live chat. Yes, this is a Volvo, it's the F88.
Victor, I'm on DirectX 11, so I'm not using the NVIDIA Inspector. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people in Volumuki. <laughs> Do I like potatoes, Lithuanian gamer? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not from um, Ireland. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Smelly. Uh, I, I, I kid you not. I'm on live chat, and I can't see that message. <laughs> I'm just kidding, William. I'm just kidding. How do I get 499 so I can support you? Um, get a job? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. <laughs> of course, Macedonia, Joshi. Of course, I want a Portugal mod. Who doesn't? Shadowrunner 69er, welcome. An extremer is here now. Finally, welcome. <laughs> Rubber bank for four ninety nine. <laughs> totally worth it. Oh, you sent the uh, messages. Uh, very good. I'll have a look at that after the stream. I'm not going to do that while I'm holding. Um, well, there are people who have credit cards. You can always rob one of them. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea why it's taking everyone so long to actually do Portugal and, and Spain. Is there some kind of a secret political game behind all of that? I never understood why it's so goddamn difficult to get all of Spain included. <laughs> They can't read the Spanish signs, yeah. <laughs> Could of course be the reason. Flensborg coming up. The best map I ever played on ETS2, Quentin. Uh, for add-on maps, um, I'm gonna say what everyone else says. Pro mods. Uh, standalone. The most beautiful map I've ever held on is, of course, Grand Utopia. It is absolutely bonkers beautiful, that map. Arias, if you do Portugal... Um, yeah, well, we already love you, all of us, so... Um, well, thank you if you do it. <laughs> yeah, Toby, you kind of need to get pro mods because it's 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 the the first map anyone should get their hands on if they are new to map mods is pro mods. Whoa, we're gonna stop here because I just remembered that I didn't refuel the truck. Um, when I came to Copenhagen. So that's what we're gonna do now. Not that I... Or did I? God, I'm such an amateur. I already did that. Hmm. Well, now we have even more fuel. <laughs> No, you're not blocked, Smelly. It's just that I'm, I'm really. First off, it's fantastic having so many here today. Um, remember when we did 
streams before summer. We were like 30 people on a good day. Uh, we're almost twice as uh, many now, uh, which means, which is a lot of fun, of course, twice as many messages. So I can't read them in all of them anymore, uh, which I do apologize for. So please, Smelly, <laughs> don't take it personal. Your virus protector doesn't allow you to download promos, Toby. Uh, well, disable it during the download. There is absolutely nothing dangerous with downloading promods from promods.net. The worst map on uh, on ETS2. Um, I'm not going to say which one it is because there are several that are really, really horrible. Um, let's just say that I've there's a ton of maps that I haven't tried out yet. And there are also several maps that I have downloaded at some point and decided to not do a video on because I couldn't find anything positive to say about them. Um, but I mean, everyone has to start somewhere. And I think it's better to release something than nothing. So um, even those who have released horrible maps, I encourage them to continue. They will learn over time. Well, Mario map is dead. It won't be missed. So, um, yeah, that one is absolutely awful for so many reasons. Uh, there is a standalone Ukraine no, it's not standalone, is it? There is a Ukraine mod. Um, I think it requires pro mods. Yeah, it requires pro mods. Uh, but it only contains a few cities so far. Uh, so there's that. This time my mod will require promos to work and actually real 1 to 19s gave it a background image. I saw that, Smelly, now I saw that. <laughs> uh, I assume it will be um, that it will require promos for a very good reason. Um, so that's fine. Uh, and actually 1 to 19 scale with a background image even sounds terrific really looking forward to it. do you have any idea on when you're gonna release that und Deutschland uh, do I know how to say anything in German uh, except for um, uh, eine große bitte that's probably the only thing I can say There's still another important message in the PM. Okay, I'll have a look at that after the stream, Smelly. Uh, JH, I do not receive news directly from SES Software. I receive them via Twitter as everyone else. Um, I do not have any get any heads up or early access or anything like that, unfortunately. Whoa, what are these guys doing? Huh. Uh, I'm not gonna say Ich liebe dich, uh, that would be stupid. So, um, but I can say Ich bin Deutsch. <laughs> Well, <laughs> version 0 0.01, uh, you know what, as long as version 0 0.8 works, uh, I guess I'm going to stick with that then.
beautiful day here in Germany. Uh, it's not Mario map, it's World Truck Simulator. Uh, no, the Mario map is a ton of stolen mods, really. And really ancient wear as well, in most cases. But in general, it's stolen mods. <laughs> I've been very happy that you, you've been uh, married for a long time, Arias. Uh, Steam King, how did Mario get involved in modding? Uh, you mean how he got involved in stealing? Uh, don't really sure. <laughs> but again, uh, the map is discontinued now, so uh, let's just leave it there. You know, it's funny that English Bob texts us in German. Uh, a bit of Linux. I have no idea what that means. It's something about Linux, but that's all I understand. Okay, so 001 would be an update to 0 0.8. Wouldn't that then be 0 0.8.0.0.1 or something? <laughs> I'm trying English, Bob. I can't re read all the messages. <laughs> Use a translator. Thank you. Yeah, during a live stream. <laughs> Built up your world on Linux. Uh, <laughs> read faster. God damn it. How do people with like thousands of viewers cope with chats? I mean, they probably just ignore most of it. Uh, I try not to, but it's getting really difficult. Uh, JH, Malta, um, Island, um, thinking. Um, mm, no, not that I'm aware of, no. Okay, fair enough, Smelly. So uh, it, we will go from version 0 0.8 back to 0 0.1. And the new version 0 0.1 will include everything 0 0.8 had and a minor update. Is that correct? <laughs> they just read the paid chats. Well, I'm not gonna... Wow, that's a beautiful evening. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Wow, that's nice. You know what? I'm gonna. There we go. I have a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. That's a very good idea. <laughs> okay, or Smelly, I think that's basically what I said as well, except I didn't call it Antarctica Map Reworked, but other than that, I think we agree. I think we agree. Uh, John, I'm using the uh, 16 gear. Um, 16 speed gearbox uh, otherwise this wouldn't work <laughs> uh, Robert uh, I'm assuming that you're asking if I changed anything because I was able to start in Copenhagen again uh, no not really I updated to um, YKS RSK version uh, 0.9.2 which is Available, of course, from rowextended.ro.
Oops. Uh, North is. Uh, oh, that's my uh, camera plus distance mod found on uh, Steam. <laughs> no one will be blocked by talking about Mario map, but it's kind of tiring to talk about a map that got famous and got a lot of downloads because it stole everyone else's work. So, um, but I mean, nah, can't really block anyone for talking about mods, in, at least not in general. <laughs> Christ, have we come to this? Read my last message, read mine instead. Uh, I'm, I'm trying everyone, I'm really struggling, I'm trying. It's not that easy, especially not in an old truck like this where I have to keep my eyes on the road and listen to the engine. And come on. God, doing 35 on the highway. <laughs> Hi Paul, Paulo. Portugal here? Yo, that's true, you're from Portugal. Why don't you create Portugal for us then, Pablo? Uh, Snowy, if I've been to Germany, yeah, many, many times. Oh, Christ. Oops. Um, warehouse and house in Epinal. You know, Quentin, there's a lot of those mods that allows you to add houses. Um, I might add one at some point, but that would be my um, well. I do live in Stockholm, so that is my hometown. But I live in a small community just outside of Stockholm, so if that gets added, that's the uh, home I would add to the game. No way, if this was 1967, they'd be just fine with it. Let's just pretend it's 1967. You got that wrong, Smelly. It's not me living on the wrong side of Sweden, and you know it. <laughs> Uh, JH Alsace may map is made on a one-to-one -one scale. Of course, I want to do a video on it. Uh, D dot non welcome. Uh, yeah, you need to update your YKS RSK files. There is a new version out. Uh, so uh, re-download YKS RSK and your problem will be gone. The problem I had in Copenhagen was due to one stupid tiny, tiny little .mat file. Um, it's been corrected, so um, go ahead and re-download it and then your problems will be gone. I am stepping on it. I'm actually flooring it. <laughs> I already did a FSG. Yeah, I, that's true. Thank you, Barrett, for reminding me. No, I don't want to do another one on that. <laughs> that's, well, I do, but I already did one. Go figure, I'm old. <laughs> I already forgot about it. Terribly sorry, Barrett. And Extremer. I did too. Yeah, I did. Look at that, we're actually speeding too. I'm old, I didn't say I was ancient, <laughs> Bengan. <on. laughs> 
Well, Germany been very kind to us so far. Uh, uh, we need to find somewhere to stop for a night. So I think we're going to take uh, make a stop at the next gas station uh, or rest place uh, and have a look at the map as well. <laughs> oh, oh, did we hurt your feelings, Bengen? <laughs> so sorry, man. Buddy, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are bang on because we are. <laughs> I had a really scary experience when I came home from work today. Uh, I couldn't reach any of you uh, Google's services from my PC. None of them worked. Uh, spent an hour on the phone with the um, help desk from the um, uh, my broadband provider. And all of, his, all of a sudden it started to work again. It wasn't Google's problem, of course, because uh, it worked on my uh, phone. But I couldn't reach YouTube, I couldn't get to my Gmails, none of it worked. So um, that was kind of scary. The uh, load screen, if it's the first time you load up all the map mods, it will take anything from 10 to 30 minutes. I've even heard of one case where it took two hours. So just leave it there. Um, but if it's a problem that you see on the second or third load even, um, there's something wrong with your um, load order uh, denom. You know, Bengen, it wasn't my entire internet connection because everything else worked. Facebook worked, um, uh, newspapers, everything else I threw at it worked. But as soon as I tried to do anything on, um, on any of Google services, it didn't work. Really strange. Well, if you're trying to open up a old save Denon, that is um, considered a first load. So, yeah. It will load quickly if you use a save game that is created after the first initial load. Where are the gas stations? I'd really like to have a look at the map. Thank you, Dinon, that's very kind of you. And please join the uh, Discord server, by the way, if you, if you haven't already done that. Um, we are at almost 400 members now, which is insane. We have almost 400 members on the Discord server, so um, thank you, every one of you who have joined so far. And for those of you who haven't yet, um, go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. There you'll find all the support you need for any of the map combos and other problems you have as well. Well, thank you for being here, Rick Steamer. I hope you come back later. And welcome, Vasilis. Uh, we are somewhere in Germany. I'm going to show you the map uh, 
as soon as we get to a resting place, I think there's one coming up here now. Yep, Rasthof Göttingen West. I'm gonna stop there. Great, they have toilets and even beds. here today. Seriously? <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay. That was weird. No free spaces, huh? Okay, guess we're gonna do... I think we can park over here instead. Let's park it here. So, let's have a look at the map. Wow, we made good progress there. 4,183 kilometers to go. Look at that! So we started in Copenhagen today, and we're almost in Castle already. And as you can see, I made some changes. I think we went down via Leipzig um, originally, but now we're going to go around that, down to Salzburg, and then, of course, we have to go down this road. Uh, and, um, yeah. We are going all the way down to Akaba, but we won't make it to Akaba today. Um, so, uh, yeah, for those of you who just recently joined us, we started in Kirkenes two days ago made it down to Copenhagen and today we started in Copenhagen and now we are here. So uh, we should be able to get maybe all the way down to Turkey tonight. Could be. And good morning everyone. Uh, also, if you want this skin there is a link to it in the video description. It is for the Volvo F88. Um, very, very good replica of the original uh, paint scheme they had on the trucks that went down the Bandar Abbas Express route. Uh, long story, Perry. Yes, I did. Um, as Perry points out there, I made some changes to the truck. And the reason I did that is that when I started trying to figure out what was wrong with my combo, one of the first things I removed, as I always do, uh, was all other mods. That included the truck, of course. Even though I didn't really think the truck was the problem. And as we know now, that wasn't the problem. Uh, but it had to go, and um, when I started redoing it, I didn't bother going back to the uh, stream and look at what the truck actually looked like. So it ended up being a little bit different from what it was two days ago. And <laughs> the truck is still as, as guilty as it's ever been.
that is true, Smelly. They do, especially from um, from Iceland there. So hopefully you will have those snowy wind gusts as well in a lot of places. <laughs> Blank, welcome, and Mr. Sweet, welcome to you too. That truck is going to be with us not only for this uh, live stream, uh, it's probably going to stay forever. <laughs> I did one stream without him and everyone noticed, so that's not going to happen again. <laughs> uh, Perid, yeah, it's technically a new job. Uh, wasn't anything I could do about that. Uh, yes, Mrs. Tweed, we, I didn't actually fix it. Mr. Arias uh, uh, fixed it. So there is an updated version of YKS RSK uh, 1.9.2 that you need to download unless you like having crashes in uh, Denmark and Germany. Uh, Trucker Fangle, uh, you told me on this call that you have this problem. Uh, in that case, you missed that I also told you that the problem was solved uh, and that you need to download the new version of YKS RSK. Uh, that's something I told you guys yesterday. <laughs> crashes are sexy. You know, as a YouTuber, crashes is a nightmare. <laughs> Come on there, truck! Oh, the truck falling through the map issue. Yeah, I responded to that, I think. Uh, I wanted to know where on the map you uh, uh, fell through. I did see the cords, but um, I'm not clever enough to understand uh, where do those how to translate that to into the game without loading the game up of course um, which I couldn't because I was at work at the time <laughs> I guess it is smelly <laughs> it's a nightmare for everyone I don't understand how you mappers can stand me at all I mean I'm gonna be your worst nightmare doing these map combos I do know that all of you spend so much time perfecting your maps and doing everything you can to make sure that they work the best they can and then I come around and just ruins everything by combining your beautiful maps with other maps which makes things crash <laughs> well uh, <laughs> I had it coming Perry so uh, Perry so uh, uh, thank you for being honest <laughs> well Snowy let, we have to pretend this is 1967 and back then this was normal thank you Jan Paulson that's very kind of you Am I number one, really, uh, on map combos? Uh, well, thank you. Witcher is here. Welcome. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I can <laughs> help you make some money, at least. As some sort of compensation for me ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, Arias. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad I can be uh, to some service then, uh, Smelly. Oh, 
Come on, truck, you can do this. Um, the truck is a Volvo F88. We have 330 horsepower and uh, 22 tons of cargo. It's not that powerful, this truck. But... Um, If, if John's still here, I wish I could tell you the story he told me uh, yesterday because John H. has actually hauled in one of these trucks to the Middle East in the, um, if I remember correctly, early uh, 70s. So he can probably tell you how much of a struggle it was. Well, sales are uh, just Soviet Union trucks. All Soviet Union trucks are very, very manly, very powerful. Hardcore Gaming Master is here. Welcome. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's awesome. We actually did what we are, oops, kind of replicating today. He did that for real. It's amazing. And uh, speaking of amazing, if you want to see how it worked back then, uh, I have links to the um, Legends of Long Haulage uh, videos by Scania in the video description as well. I highly recommend all of those six videos. They're very, very short, uh, just like four or five minutes, minutes each. So if you have half an hour to spare, go watch those videos. It's very, very fascinating. Snowy Online 915. Uh, sil old sil trucks. First off, I love old trucks. All old trucks are nice. Um, sils, uh, you know, it's the Zil 130, 131, 133. Uh, they are just incredible. They are icons in uh, in the Soviet Union or former Soviet Union. They were found everywhere. Especially the 130 were producing like, I think it was seven and a half million. Uh, I think there was seven and a half million of those produced. Bonkers numbers. Uh, and they look so beautiful. Martin is here as well. Welcome, Martin. Uh, so, John, uh, what's your opinion on, on, on this truck and the speed we're doing here? Is this uh, slower than uh, you would expect? It is a lot slower. Okay, we have 22 tons behind us, but uh, so this is slower. Well, I'm I'm happy for you. I'm glad it's slower than it was in real life. <laughs> uh, get the best in life. Welcome and uh, Vidran, welcome to you too. Um, what do I think of trading companies? Um, uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by trading companies? Do you mean VTCs or... Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me, Bang I'm flooring it. I'm constantly flooring it, or almost constantly. This is where I'm gonna let go of the gas for a little bit, but other than that, I'm, I'm 
basically flooring it all the time. Uh, which, which of my combos is 100% effective? I'm using my big map global right now. That is the combo I'm using now. And the crash we had uh, two days ago has been solved. You need to update your YKSRSK files. Um, and I'm not afraid of using it on a uh, live stream. So I'm going to say this one is... Well, not bulletproof, but... Um, I'm not afraid of using it. I am horribly afraid of having crashes during a live stream. stream game crashes, that is. Uh, but, no. Nah. Welcome, uh, Psycho Boy. And Pera FN, welcome to you too. Uh, Pera, I'm so old that I do not mind anymore. I'm 48. Uh, but I'm comfortable with that because I know there are people here who is twice that age. <laughs> not gonna mention anyone in particular, but... <laughs> I love you too, Gerardo. Welcome. <laughs> John, honestly, this was better than the uh, Scania trucks of the time. Yes, Para, really. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, did you drive drive trucks? Did you? It's not like I'm retired, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much still alive and I do work. Uh, but it's not in trucking. Um, it's kind of something I want to do before I retire. Uh, but no, I, I, I work in IT. I assume you mean by resting, Richard, that you are leaving us in case you are. Thank you for being here. And I hope to catch you again tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs> Very funny, Perid. Of course I'm alive. Sort of. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, Martin, it's pretty rare you see anyone um, having problems with trucks these days. Uh, I guess you saw it a lot more. I saw a lot more of it back in the days. Uh, yeah, the Scania 130 V8. Thank you, John. That was the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> After all, I am. Believe it or not, but I am a Scania man. Uh, it's just that I love this XPS truck so much. Yeah, it sounds good. It looks good. It has a great skin by Alex1973 here. A, sca a uh, skin, by the way, that you can download uh, from the video description, if you like. Whoa! Whoops. Um, Para, I am... Yes, I do live in Sweden. I was born in Norway, raised there, but I've been living in Sweden for like 30 years now. <laughs> yeah, the, the horn isn't... Listen to this, guys. And... And it doesn't get much better from the outside. <laughs> so, but I think that is a thing with XPS. He always makes these uh, crazy uh, horn sounds. I mean, look at his uh, his um, uh, Sisu truck. That's even crazier. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Infernal State Machine. Hope to catch you again tomorrow or some other time.
You have family in Sweden, Perro? Good for you. Where where is your family in uh, in Sweden? Uh, Martin, you're missing out on all the other trucks that uh, manufacturers that doesn't exist anymore. Bedford, for instance. In Stockholm. Well, that's where I live. <laughs> no, we do not have meatballs. We have uh, what do we have? We have um, uh, furniture. <laughs> We're, <laughs> we're bringing furniture <laughs> from northern Norway all the way down to Akaba. <laughs> and for those of you with excellent memory, uh, you do know that we didn't have furniture back there two days ago. Uh, I had to recreate the hall. So I just, just took whatever was furthest away from Akaba when I chose. Quentin, uh, yes, that is going to happen. Uh, we will do a 26,000 kilometer haul from uh, Ross to ROC. It's going to be from Ross. And of course, it's going to be from Forkuta. I am planning that haul and I'm trying to figure out if it's possible to do it um, on a regular week or if we have to do it over the um, Christmas holidays because it is going to be a 30-hour haul yes that's correct uh, snowy uh, we had the paper yes uh, two days ago but again I had to recreate the the haul so I just took something I don't think that is the most important part of this haul anyway so uh, Well, go kväll, Perad. Nice having Pera, uh, FN. Very nice having you here. And I hope to catch you again tomorrow when we complete this haul. Hi, Jess Anderson. Welcome. That small lever there was the, um, oops, that one there, huh, I wonder if I, no it doesn't work, that's too bad, kind of wish it did. <laughs> Makes sense, Snowy. <laughs> There is a lot of things that is stupidly done by SCS, like having two different games doing the same thing on two different continents, for instance, instead of having just one game for both continents. Anyway. Thank you, Jan Polsen, and uh, thank you for being here. Oh, by the way, guys, you won't believe this. Uh, someone who shall remain anonymous sent me a steam key um, two nights ago for Fernbus <laughs> so I have Fernbus so we are gonna do Fernbusing um, maybe even this weekend uh, oh yes please do a Foden that would be something. I wish we could clone Arias for maps and I wish we could clone XPS for trucks. <laughs> Aren't you happy Arias? We're gonna do <laughs> Fern Bus. <laughs> <laughs> So Arias, when are you going to do your first uh, map mod for Fernbus? 
<laughs> well, <laughs> of course, Martin, it has to be something really old as well, as old as possible. Not that I can remember when uh, MAN took over, but uh, I'm going to guess it that was in the 80s. Yeah, um, you know, I have no opinion on Fernbus. I haven't used Fernbus before, and I haven't used uh, any other bus simulators either, so I have nothing to compare it with. Uh, I did start the game, but I didn't actually drive in it two nights ago when I, when I got that key. Um, the menus looked really strange, like something really homemade. Um, but I have secretly been watching some of Squirrel's front bus videos, so I know the graphics is just fantastic. <laughs> uh, is that a promise, Arias? You will do Fernbus map mods when you are dead? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's better than nothing. You think the graphics look cartoonish, uh, Parrot, on Fernbus? Maybe you looked at some old videos. Oh, Christ, I was... Ah, bugger. Oh, well. FIFA 20. Well, that's a game I'm never, I'm never going to play. Yeah, I, again, I, I hate the menus on Fernbus. They look really homemade, but uh, it looks like something you can make in Flash or uh, Macromedia, whatever it was called. Um, uh, like 20 years ago, but uh, from uh, Squirrel's videos, it looks pretty good. Uh, yes, no way, it's the Flixbus simulator. Uh, Bogdak, well, only the free uh, DLCs so far, but I mean, I was planning on buying the game, uh, and now that I didn't have to buy it, uh, thanks to the uh, generous donation, I uh, can spend some money on buying uh, DLCs instead, like map DLCs, of course. MG Mike, welcome! <laughs> Incorruptible, I, my uh, secrets of <laughs> wannabe lover, <laughs> is here. <laughs> uh, Mike, we're hauling from... Um, we started out in Copenhagen today, and uh, we're going down to Turkey. We are in Germany for a little while longer. Not long. And again, um, this skin is available from the um, video description if you want it for your F-88. If you want to haul from Norway to, uh, to the Middle East in a F-88, this is the skin I recommend. Packard, Packard took over in the 90s. Damn, did phone trucks exist early 90s then? Huh. Uh, nowhere I is. I'm never gonna do a uh, convoy with uh, with Incorruptible Eye. I do not want to be behind him and I definitely want him to be behind me. <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, 
You cut three trucks out of wood in Corruptible Life. What the hell do you do for a living? You make wood trucks. <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, we are... Let's have a look at the map. Um, we are... Oh, we are making so good progress. Look at that. We are almost in... Um, uh, Austria. Incredible. Almost in Austria. No, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to go down here. Hmm. And 3,874 kilometers to go. We will definitely make it to um, Turkey today. You're a chainsaw man. That's that's a really manly thing to, to work on. Chainsaws, I love working with a chainsaw. That makes me feel like a real man. When I was young, my father allowed me to use the chainsaw when I was only 12 years old. And um, it was a lot more fun than trying to cut down a tree using an axe. The sound that trees make when they fall, that's... that's something. We are in Bald in Österreich. Are we in Austria now? Well, that's good money, incor uh, Incorruptible Eye. Who's <laughs> Kvarna? I uh, guess they are. I think my father's actually was a Husqvarna. A very, very old one, of course. <laughs> Reinertshof. Never heard of Husky, to be honest. Uh, you know what, Quentin, if there's been changes to the Turkish border on YKS RSK uh, 1.9.2, I haven't seen it yet. But if it's the old one, I have seen it and I'm very happy with it. Now we just need a drawing distance to be um, much, much better than it is right now. There we go. Austria. Uh, that is correct, Mike. Nicely spotted there. Yes, I do have one road connection too many. Not that it matters, uh, but I will remove one of them. Guess which one? Uh, for the next version. You remade it, Arias? Damn, I look forward to getting down there then. <laughs> I'm not really sure we're gonna hit any kangaroos here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm the only wombat in Austria. Well, good for you, Incorruptible. Drink water, that's what I do. I haven't been down this road in a very, very long time. This is gonna be fun. Let me just get some water. Oh. oh I needed that. Alex, are you asking me if I'm bored? Uh, no. <laughs> Why would I be? This is the best game in the world. Oh, it's so beautiful down here. Look at that. Uh, 
Um, Trucker Fangler, okay, I'll have a look at that after the stream. Uh, can't do it during the stream. Sorry about that. This is so awesome. I wish there were more roads like this. This road kind of reminds me of the uh, old E18 on the um, western coast of Norway. Uh, hopefully that road will be uh, made by Pro Mods or possibly Scandinavia Mod in the future. It's an epic road to haul on. Of course it's been replaced by a modern, modern um, highway. Uh, over the last 20 years or so. Um, but the old one, just so beautiful. nice that was a nice one oh I want more <laughs> TSM had a Norwegian road similar to this one that's got to be an old version of TSM I can't remember having seen one or a road similar to this one on, on TSM I guess you don't have to be from the country that you are remaking, but I've said it before, I think it's... I think I'd prefer it if you are from the country that you are making, or at least live close to it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep an eye on the roads now. I'm gonna ignore the chat for a little bit because um, we might struggle a little bit here now. And I do not want to get stuck here. I do not want to teleport. Come on, little truck, you can do this. <laughs> I assume you've been to Antarctica uh, at least, uh, Smelly. <laughs> uh, Legend Rock Plot, welcome. Yes, this is uh, currently Pro Mods. I'm using my uh, Pro Mods Big Map Global Edition. Uh, but yeah, we're in uh, Austria, so um, we're on Pro Mods right now. Yeah, <laughs> you are a rise. You're absolutely very important. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you, of course. But um, <laughs> it's for everyone I'm trying to not crash, not get stuck, not teleport.
beautiful, so beautiful. This is so much better than I remember it. I haven't been down here in like, gotta be at least six months. <laughs> well, most of them are pretty close to where you live anyway, Arias, so... <laughs> It's, it's not like you have to live there, but it's just like... I really enjoy that about the Project Japan, that so many of those guys working on it are from Japan. I've, I'm, I really like that. But as I also said in my Project Japan video, um, SES has proven that you do not have to live in the country uh, that you are mapping, so... I'm not going to hold it against anyone not living in the country they are mapping. I'm just saying that I, I like it when... I like the idea. Uh, MG Mike, I did a video on how to make those GPS um, uh, mods. Uh, I think there were... was it 50 different commands? But I made a video on how to do it, if you want to make your own. And there I go through all those commands. Obsteig is this village. Or just Obsteig. Austria, by the way, is a very beautiful country in the summer. I've been there many years ago, but I've been there and it's... Well, people, at least here in Scandinavia, tend to go there in the, in the winter. But I actually prefer it in the summer. So it's Obsteig then, I guess. I think that was how I pronounced it the first time. Switzerland is better? I haven't been to Switzerland. I want to go there sometime. Let me just get through these hairpins. <laughs> it would be so nice to actually do one haul at least without having any crashes. Well, thank you for being here, Snowy. Very nice having you here. Wait, what? I'm unsubscribing? Uh, what happened? <laughs> when do I get mo I have no idea what you guys are talking about now. Um, someone is... Uh, someone. W what? What, 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 did, what did I do? What the hell did I do? Oh, I didn't... Wait, what? Uh, I said I wanted to go there. It's not like I said I don't want to go there or that I hate it uh, or anything. I said I want to go there. And now you want to hang me for saying that I want to go there? Ah. <laughs> uh, Arcanjo Gameplay, welcome. 
from Brazil even. Nice having you here, buddy. No, I guess that's that's my life. Nothing I do is good enough for you. Just spoiled brats. Uh, Abdullah Tif UK, welcome. Uh, Ricardo Franco, the uh, uh, no, I did not notice anything. Uh, is this where? No, no, I took the wrong route. Oh well. When I have just 20,000 subs? Do you remember when you have just 20k of subs? That doesn't make sense. Uh, if I will remember what. Uh, if you have a problem with uh, ETS2, Abdul, I'm sure we can fix that. Um... best way of fixing it is of course that you connect to our discord we have people standing by 24 7 to help you uh, yeah it keeps crashing the only way to uh, at least try to fix that is by removing uh, whatever other mods you have there other than the um, map mods um, and uh, post the game.log file to, uh, well, to the Discord. If your PC got hacked, that has absolutely nothing to do with the map mods. That I can guarantee. Other than, of course, if you clicked on any of the... Um, uh, banners. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm obviously not going in the right direction. Um, we're gonna stop for fuel. And we're gonna stop for... Avropa Brücke. Brücke. Huh. Um... Well, if you have problems with the steering wheel and it doesn't work, um, even if you don't use any map mods or any map, map mods at all, uh, you have to bring it over the SCS, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's horrible. We have to go back. That's disappointing. That's what happens when Perid says he's gonna... Uh, unsubscribe because I haven't been to Switzerland that's this is all on him of course um, so we're gonna go back up there and on to A12 um, this is I mean I've, I've done everything I can there's nothing I can do about this it is all Perid's fault Uh, but let's continue. We're gonna stop here somewhere for the night. Let's see if we can find somewhere to to stop. Let's have a look. Okay, we can park over there. <laughs> God, you're, you're, <laughs> you people are horrible. Now we're gonna argue about whose fault it is, even <laughs> because you want to take blame. Oh, I can't go in there. It's hmm. Uh, 
thank you martin for being here and um, hope you come back tomorrow or later tonight when we uh, complete this haul <laughs> no i haven't <laughs> well it's <laughs> It's easy to understand why you think I had too much water, but um, honestly. <laughs> These Russian traders are everywhere. Hmm. Hang on. Can we... Is it possible to... Where are we? There we are. Can we take this road... No. Never mind. Uh, the reason you don't want to use pirated versions of the game is because um, if you do, you are not supporting SCS and we want as many people as possible to support them. Uh, for several reasons. Um, one, it's illegal to use pirated versions, and second, um, we need to show our support, give them the money they absolutely deserve, uh, so that they can continue developing the game for us. If everyone used pirated versions, they wouldn't make any money at all. And of course, that would mean that we wouldn't have any games to you have fun with. Uh, that's a good question, uh, Narcissus. Why didn't I sleep? I did. It's just very early in the morning still. Whoops. Wrong gear. No, and it's not like the game is very expensive either. So, um, respect the work SCS does, and buy the game, like everyone else. Yeah, you have to buy the DLCs, that is correct. We all did. And honestly, I think you should too. <laughs> going to Sardinia uh, uh, what's happening there Abdul are you okay Yeah, I understand that it's it's um, it's expensive for many to buy the game, but uh, again, there are games I want to play too that I can't play, uh, even if I live here in Sweden, even if I make good money at my day job, uh, because they are too expensive for me as well. Okay, I think you should stay away from a keyboard then, Abdul. <laughs> Maybe reinstall your computer or something. Uh, Fatroon, uh, do a video on on Middle East without EAA. Um, why? <laughs> why not include EAA? All right, Abdul, I think that you either remove the USB connection to your keyboard 
or we're gonna have to say goodbye for the day uh, because this isn't really working yeah parried if you don't mind Thank you, Perid. Um, huh, that was strange. Uh, Cyberman, that's your connection. Um, the uh, stream is HD. Okay, <laughs> we won't we won't mind that Cyberman. <laughs> um, Perry, you're the admin. I have no idea. <laughs> um, that's really strange, incorruptible, because I am not streaming this in 4K. Uh, but uh, good for you. I'm glad the drugs work for you. <laughs> Seriously, what am I doing here? This is a Volvo F88. It, it can't break down. It's indestructible, more or less. To quote a um, very, very nice guy who actually drove one of these, it is one of the two best trucks that existed. Uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask when we, we will see the pipe, Arias? <laughs> Yeah, it's not like the old, um, was it the Urals or Crosses? I can't remember, either Urals or Crosses. Uh, you could do whatever you wanted to do with them. They were absolutely indestructible. <laughs> Good job, Perrid. <laughs> Let's have a look. When will we... Okay, we have to go. No, we are on the new parts now. Oh, this is going so much faster than I thought it would. <laughs> True that, Bogdak. <laughs> Daffs are great, I, I have to admit it. I really like them. Especially the uh, 241. And 20, 2800 and uh, 3300, and I guess everything they made before prior to 1990, I guess. Type 366, welcome. Uh, I like MANs too, or MANs too, but um, Scanias are my favorite, my personal favorite. Thank you, Liam. Actually, when we do the... Uh, because it will happen when we do the ROS to ROC, I will use RJL's uh, truck this time instead of the Volvo FH750 we used the last time when we went to ROS. And we will haul the bridge, by the way. <laughs> Not a sill. 
<laughs> not the uh, F12 or whatever we initially used when we did the Forkuta hole. Yeah, Ricardo, unfortunately there aren't that many good old Scania trucks that work anymore. Um, hopefully they will be updated, but uh, there's a lot of old ones I really miss. Welcome Fortune, we are in... Uh, are we still in Austria? I think we are still in Austria. Avar Omed, welcome and thank you for being here. And Cyberman is back. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with your internet there, uh, Cyberman. I like all old trucks uh, type 3. I like all old trucks. Uh, old Soviet Union era trucks, I just love them. I had a period where I did like, I think it was 10 different video reviews. Rather bad ones, but still, of uh, old Russian trucks. They're still on my channel somewhere. <laughs> Look at this. So beautiful. Roman diesel. Yes, the Raba as well. Uh, actually, I'm trying to uh, fix the Raba truck. Um, I haven't tried any, I, tr I tried and I get it to load and, uh, but it still crashes when I select engines and uh, the BDFs isn't working for me, that crashes as well. I've never heard of uh, Sheppel or however you pronounce that. Is that a truck manufacturer? Never heard of. I'm not a fan of old buses, to be honest. Uh, when it comes to buses, I actually prefer modern ones. Which is the opposite of how it is with trucks. I want them as old as possible. Uh, Liam, if it's old Ford trucks, I'll agree with you. Uh, it's going to be fun having the uh, awesome uh, Ford F-Max truck mod that they are working on right now but I would still prefer the old ones uh, I'll try to read your message uh, Witcher if it's a PM I'll read it afterwards we're in Salzburg um, if it's somewhere further up in the um, live chat uh, type it again please uh, good evening, Leif. Welcome. Oh, hang on. There we go. Uh, uh, Witcher, uh, the, uh, if you have any crashes, similar to those I had two days ago on the live stream, Update your YKS RSK files to uh, version 1.9.2. That should take care of the problem. I'm doing very well, thank you, Leif. Uh, struggling a little bit with this F88 uh, going <laughs> through Austria, but I guess that's to be expected. Fortune, if the EAA map is good, uh, yeah, it definitely is. It is also incredibly horrible in some places, uh, and it's not good in all places. It's, I mean, it's, it's bunkers big. Of course, it has older parts uh, that haven't been updated in a really long time, but uh, there are some really epic roads there as well. Uh, for instance, the BR-231 uh, is an 
epic road uh, on the AA. <laughs> if I'm moving a rise. <laughs> Yeah, they have a lot of great roads on the AA, but again, they also have a lot of <laughs> really boring roads. <laughs> but that's to be expected with a map with 75,000 kilometers of roads plus. really sure what's wrong with me tonight. I'm mixing up the gears a lot today. I do apologize for that. Arcanio, that is a, <laughs> that's a good point. I love horrible gravel roads and there's a lot of that on, on the AA. So definitely try EAA out and uh, don't dismiss the map if you haul for a couple of hours and find the roads to be boring or not impressive. It's just that you have been hauling in the wrong places on the EAA. There are a ton of good roads. <laughs> right, Arias. <laughs> Here we go again. Or not. I thought we were going to go uphill. <laughs> Amar, what do you want? Why, <laughs> why are you complimenting me on my driving when I just said that I'm mixing up the gears horribly tonight? <laughs> you want me to speak Swedish? Uh, <laughs> okay, raise your hands if you want to see me speak Swedish. If you want to see me speak. If you want to hear me speak Swedish. Oh, right, here we go. Liam, I'm sure that you know what I'm saying now, because I'm actually from Norway. Otherwise, I can take a little bit of Swedish so that Benga understands. Um, Bengen är så gammal så han skulle ändå inte förstå vad jag säger om jag talar på, sven talar på norska. <laughs> And there we go. Uh, all I said was just, I was just roosting um, Bengen. That's, that's all I did. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect myself from the chat a little bit because we have a lot of hairpins coming up here now and um, I really don't want to crash this time. I want to do at least one haul where I don't crash. So um, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the roads for a little bit. little truck that's a tiny tiny that's not even a steep hill it's just it's just not exactly flat come on there we go um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow these roads This road is highly recommended. Let's have a look at the map and see where we are. So this road between Innsbruck and Klagenburg, or Klagenfurt, or uh, Klagenfurt, highly recommended. 
Very nice road. And only 3,448 kilometers to go. Uh, Liam, it's okay to ask me things in Norwegian, but it's uh, it might be considered rude by others who doesn't understand the question. But uh, I'll I'll translate it. Just don't make a habit of it. <laughs> Because I won't be able to always translate everything, so... Hi Olaf, welcome! Uh, good point there, uh, Perid. We might have to check the fuel. Uh, we might have to refuel. Thanks, Liam. You've been watching the whole evening? Are you very shy, Olaf? Why haven't you been on the chat before? <laughs> it's nice to have you here now, at least. <laughs> if I can speak Romania, no, I can't. Not a single word. I would, I mean, I would die of thirst in Romania. I can't even order a beer in Romanian. So, <laughs> you're gonna go, no smelly? Okay, thank you for being here, buddy, and we look forward to your first update to um, Antarctica. Still have a full tank? How is that possible? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How is that even possible? Five weeks. Well, I really look forward to it. Did we refuel <laughs> when we stopped for, for sleep? <laughs> I call. Yeah, we did. Jesus Christ, there's something really wrong with my memory. It's not a thirsty truck, and we have um, the larger fuel tanks on this one. Uh, speaking of, uh, someone asked me about round tanks round fuel tanks for this truck and XPS have not included any round tanks for it so um, um, when we talked about that two days ago I said that yeah when we get to Turkey we are going to uh, to take off these these square tanks fuel tanks and whoa and add round ones instead and we can't which is very sad. For those who, who doesn't understand the reference to round tanks, it's because if you have watched the Legends of Long Haulage videos, those six five minute uh, long videos, um, they talk about that. Uh, one of the things they learned during that haul was that uh, square uh, fuel tanks get stuck in the sand whereas round fuel tanks um, doesn't speeding oops sorry mr officer yes <coughs> yes the hole from um, from Russian open spaces to uh, Republic of China. Yeah, um, I did a um, live stream of the um, Republic of China map and the 14,500 kilometers we did on that map. And um, I combined it with Ross. And uh, it's possible to do a 26, seriously. 26,000 kilometer haul uh, so uh, that's what we're gonna do at some point well if, unfortunately Arias he is right <laughs> but it's been worse I got a 
gazillion speeding tickets when we did Republic of China Hall. So there is Italy, we're not going there. thousand liters of course they needed it wow that's a lot of fuel uh, Olaf it's kind of possible to go straight from Ross to to rock um, if you start in Vorkuta on Ross and uh, do not add Prozona instead add um, the great step to Ross road connection and then via Russia or Ross map uh, through Europe to Calais and then the ferry over to um, to China uh, to Vulumuki uh, that's 26,000 kilometers Hang on, what, what do you mean I'm not lost again? Christ. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not lost. This is precisely where I'm supposed to be. God damn it. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you scared me there. I actually thought I was lost. <laughs> God. Look at that, Slovenia. There we go. Yes, uh, you. I guess you could. You could make a ferry, of course, but ferries are no fun. Uh, I really don't want to use ferries. go through Europe and um, unfortunately you have to take a ferry to, to China if they could just move the China map to where it's supposed to be um, located uh, with the help of uh, the road to Asia map which is coming soon I hope um, we could go to China without even having to take a single ferry. Soon, says Arias. Yeah, soon can't come quick enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Something very, very wrong with you, Arias. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it will probably never happen. They will probably never move uh, the China map to its correct location. It's uh, it's a ton of work, but um, I mean, we can always dream. It would be nice if it could happen. But it probably won't. Uh, haven't asked them yet because I asked Extreme where they should put it, and um, I didn't get an answer on that. Ooh. And I do not want to ask them to move it to the right location without being able to tell them what the right location would be.
We'll go ahead then. Yeah. At least dreaming doesn't cost anything. Uh, Bengan and RC2 Volumuki, that would be if they moved China, right? I have a radio voice type 3, like an AM radio voice or... Uh, <laughs> Kurdistan map isn't. Let's see, Kurdistan is located in uh, Turkey. A part of it is, at least. So we, there's that. <laughs> so the rest of it will probably be. Uh, Added when Iran is no, not Iran, Iraq is added. Kurdistan is not in Turkey. Okay, my bad. Iowa, you want a one to one scale map of Russia? There already is one, the Moscow map. Thank you, Perid. So it is in uh, <laughs> Turkey then. <laughs> Yeah, there should be a law that uh, prevents you from making a map in another place than it actually should be located. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, no, no, no. Kurdistan. Uh, type 3. No, I do not. I work in IT. Thank you very much. Uh, which is a good thing. I mean... Would you imagine what could happen if I drove like this or hauled like this in a real truck? I could potentially kill thousands of people. Incorruptible I, you're just scaring me. I'm not going to sing anything. Are you insane? <laughs> I do like trucks, Type 3, I love trucking. I have a not so secret <laughs> dream about actually becoming a truck driver before I retire. <laughs> Don't worry Olaf, I won't sing. <laughs> Especially not when Incorruptible Eye requests it. <laughs> His imaginary um, relationship with me is scary enough as it is. Don't worry, Arias, I won't sing. I, 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 I won't. Why did I change lanes there? Whoa! Okay! That was close. Wow. A caution, you do know that that is over three octaves. I've... That no, no, I'm not gonna sing yeah, anything by aha. Uh -huh. uh, type three, I do not have a license for trucking. No, as you can see, it should be pretty obvious that I don't. That I don't. <laughs> Why are you all slowing down? Olaf, yeah, I'm much, much younger than you are. 
<laughs> An entire year. If detour is my new... My, wait, what? Uh, did I miss... No, I didn't miss an exit this time either. Um, there we are. And I'm going to say we won't make it to Turkey today. Uh, but we will make it to... To where? Um, possibly to Beograd. Possibly to Beograd. Uh, but we won't make it to Turkey. Because it's already 9 o'clock. And we can continue for another half an hour or so, but... Um, I gotta cut it short tonight. Hi, Best Transport Videos 2020, welcome! <laughs> and I'm gonna stop watching the chat entirely because you make me doubt myself. <laughs> uh, now I really don't want a forest knife. <laughs> You do know that that doesn't work. Call me a chicken won't make me sing. <laughs> the National Hotel in Beograd. Um, with the risk of defend... The, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Ah, never mind. Forgot it. Uh, best transport. If you have have problems with getting the uh, big map combo to work, I highly recommend that you uh, come join us on the uh, Discord server. There's a link to it in the video description, and there you can post your game.log file, and we'll figure it out together with you. Type 3, I think you're confusing me with Finns. Uh, Finnish people like knives. Uh, Swedes don't. <laughs> Thank you, Best Transport. I'm sure we will figure it out. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm just provoking all the Finnish people in here, type 3, never mind me. Uh, we do like knives as well. <laughs> furniture and meatballs, yeah! Speaking of speaking of furniture... Uh, oh, only tire wear, how nice! Uh, 22 tons of furniture on our, is on its way to Akaba. Ikea, does the you make knives? Butter knives, perhaps. Make an audiobook then. There's... No. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing, I'm not gonna do an audiobook. And I'm definitely not gonna tell you a story. <laughs> it's only Thursday. One would think all of you have been drinking. Uh, how are Chatbullar right to eat? Uh, 
with fork and knife <laughs> with mashed potatoes and um, yeah with mashed potatoes uh, or macaronis all children love meatballs and macaronis Here we have it, Croatia. Dangerously. Uh, Dinon, if I'm using this joystick, no. I'm on a Logitech G25. The second best steering wheel for ETS2. The best is, of course, the G27. I don't have one of those, but G25 is just fine. Yeah, Perid, so kill me. I did something illegal. I love living dangerously uh, <laughs> I got away with it <coughs> uh, Octavian no the G25 and G27 none of them are made anymore not even the G29 is made anymore but the G25 and the 27 they had the best gear shifter in the world with its buttons it's it's the best and uh, yeah John H is right the G27 is the best uh, no, no, no. yeah yeah a cushion you and you should be very happy with it because uh, 100 euros for a second and G25 isn't half bad So the only thing I'm afraid is going to happen is that it's going to break down and that I can't repair it. Um, I don't want any of these modern steering wheels instead. Uh, I want my G25 or preferably a G27. Haha, <laughs> Bengan, sorry to disappoint you there. <laughs> If I know any other ETS YouTubers, um, if you mean like someone who has tens of thousands or perhaps even hundreds of thousands of uh, followers, uh, no, I do not. Yeah, 1500 for a G27 isn't bad either. That's trucker I'm surprised that even works uh, and you know I, I could work with the Fanatec pedals uh, and a trust master steering wheel even but the shifter has to be the Logitech G25 or 27 we're in Croatia that's all I know um, but fine let's have a look at the map once more and well we're gonna make it past Zagreb uh, we're gonna stop here in Slavonsky Brod maybe or should we what's the next town then uh, Biograd how far is it then to Oh, it's 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 a long way. Okay, so Beograd. Let's let's um, some find somewhere to stop around Beograd over there, for instance. That'll, that'll do. I wish I had a SKRS. 
I need to get myself one of those. As it is now, since this is a 16 speeder, I'm using two buttons on my uh, shifter to um, to go through all 16 gears, and sometimes I get confused. Uh, Tiglan, Cardos, welcome. Uh, the trip so far, well, I haven't crashed at all, actually. So, so far pretty good. I haven't killed anyone. Um, Got a few speeding tickets, but that's all. Which is pretty impressive in this old truck, getting speeding tickets. Yeah, we're almost done for the night. Uh, but... To Christ. Hang on. How do we fix that? So I have to... Seriously? Okay. Fine. Sorry about that. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> yes, Sarayas, again. Thank you for being here, Mike. And I uh, hope you'll be back tomorrow when we complete this haul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hope you're happy now, Bengan. <laughs> Gaming boy, welcome. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, I did it intentionally. <laughs> well, <laughs> you gotta admit that that parking lot was pretty crazy. You have the same highway junction near your home, Olaf? I thought you were from Norway, this is Croatia. So, welcome to Zagreb. One of the beautiful cities I've never been to. And I missed my exit again. Perfect. It's just because I wanted to show you even more of Zagreb. I did it on purpose. Ah, okay, got it, Olaf. I thought you meant back home. Yeah, I've never been to Zagreb either. At least I don't think I've been there. Uh, Dinon, what I can confirm is that it's very accurate in Sweden. So as long as it's SCS, I'm gonna say it is accurate. Make a Y turn. <laughs> uh, I I went to Yugoslavia. I can tell you a story actually. I went to Yugoslavia in 1990. Uh, let's see, 1990, I think it was 1992, during the war. 
and uh, not on purpose. I was not in the military. I was not there to fight myself. I was going to. I was going by train to uh, Turkey, and um, that was a scary experience. Uh, the train was going very, very slowly. Uh, as I understood it, just to make sure that no one attacked it. Um, I have like, in my one of my old passports, I think I have it somewhere, I have like um, 10 different stamps from, from Yugoslavia, or from Yugoslavia, from different... Um, checkpoints we went through and I had uh, 200 cigarettes in my backpack and a couple of military guys came in with, with their I don't know AK-47s or whatever they had and um, just took my cigarettes and I didn't object at all <laughs> so and one Honestly, I was on my way to meet in Turkey my then-to-be wife and she and I went back the same way again uh, two weeks later and that was apparently the last we were 13 passengers on that train going back from Turkey through Yugoslavia um, and what they said was that that was going to be the last train through Yugoslavia. Um, pretty scary story. Um, well, the story wasn't scary, but the situation back then, that was scary. But we didn't have a choice. We didn't have any money. We couldn't take a, uh, a plane or something instead. We had literally no man money back then, so we had to take the train. What happened there? Did I? Okay, backing up a little bit then. Seriously? There it is. Wow! It doesn't seem to work. Or I'm just stupid, who knows? Could be me just being stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you don't have a visa, go back! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be funny. I wonder... <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> when you do these uh, border controls... <laughs> is it possible to make it like, say, one time in a hundred they refuse your entry? Mayuk99, <laughs> uh, welcome in Thailand, welcome to you as well. Uh, Mayuk99, uh, do I remember you? Um, you'll, you have to help me refresh my memory. Thank you, Avor, that's very kind of you. And I'm gonna be honest, um, I don't think I want to go to Kurdistan or Iraq um, at the moment. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you anyway Jimmy Jimakos welcome to you as well uh, for those of you coming in late um, whoa. this is the skin we're using if you want this skin on your F88 you can download it from the video description it is uh, replica of the Bandar Abbas Express uh, livery they had on the trucks when they went down there. Uh, so it's available in the video description for those of you who want it. And we are also running 
late. We're going to stop in Beograd, was it? <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, well, as you can see, Mayuk, uh, we fixed it. Or we didn't. Arias fixed it. So if you had the same problem, download the new version of YKS RSK. Um, version 1.9.2. That corrects the problem. I can stop at the border. Uh, yeah, of course I can stop at the border, but... Uh, yes, Mayuk, we made it through Denmark. We uh, started this stream in Copenhagen. No problem at all. <laughs> I believe you, Amor. <laughs> it's just that I, I just read what the paper says, so... Um, I'm staying away from the entire Middle East region right now, and yeah, I have kids. <laughs> uh, Para, sorry, I missed your question there on uh, Chernobyl. Could you, could you repeat it, please? <laughs> from border, you're in Ro Rovex, okay. Uh, I was still living in Norway when that happened, uh, the Chernobyl accident. And uh, it didn't affect the part of Norway that I lived in that much. Uh, it was worse for those living in northern Norway. And of course I was just... I don't know, 16, 17 years old, so what did I care? Chernobyl was an inside job, no... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roger that. Uh, Eskjarno, welcome. Yeah, Mayuk, I'm an old guy. <laughs> I'm 48, almost as old as Olaf and Bengen, of course. Uh, thank you, Mayuk, but uh, I, I prefer not to be your dad, if that's okay with you. <laughs> uh, Let's have a look at the map, just for Jarno. Uh, we are almost at our destination for the night. We are going to, you know what? Let's let's go to Beograd. Let's um, we need to refuel at some point anyway. Let's go down there. Um, so as you can see, we're almost in Beograd. Just Slavon Slavonsky Broad left to get past before we hit Beograd, where we're gonna end for the night. Here Dangen, from Strömstad, Sweden, welcome. <laughs> what the hell, Perid? You should... Bengen is the dinosaur. I'm just old, he's ancient. <laughs> Welcome, Swedish Bauer. My guess is here, Dangen. Um, yeah, he's from Sweden. Strömstad, that's pretty close to to um, the other parts, the wrong parts of Sweden. Uh, 
Well, I'll admit, I'm gonna admit I'm old, but I'm I'm still not as old as Olaf, and definitely not as old as Bengen. Yeah, he was born in uh, let's say he's 75, so he was born in 1852, right? If I'm correct, I think I'm correct. 1852. <laughs> Mayuk, old on the outside, young and in the heart, uh, not bang, and he's just grumpy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we love you, bang, and you know it. Uh, if I've been to Romania, you know, I have not. Macedonia, Yoshi is back. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, just here for the end of today's stream. We are almost at our destination for the day. <laughs> and Liam is back as well. <laughs> I get a feeling that Bengen is actually is a vampire, but uh, could be wrong. Uh, we came into Croatia about 10 minutes ago or so. So, seriously, Bengen, you had a beer with a 13 year old every night <laughs> 2000 years ago? No, 4000 years ago. <laughs> Guys, we need to be nice to Bang on. He is the father of the Swedish islands, so be nice. <laughs> did that uh, but I guess that's gonna work anyway are we, are we able to sneak around the border control by going this road instead nah I guess not Right. <laughs> uh, yes, Quentin, I did. I did. Uh, no, John Ellison, you... No, 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 no. I took the correct road. Um, or the alternative road. Um, on purpose, of course. Definitely on purpose. I'm surprised every time they let me in. Uh, how I get all my map mods to work? Uh, I just smash them together, mix them up, and complain to Arias. 
when it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of work, trial and error, checking logs. Um, I've been doing it for some quite some time, so you get some experience, know what works and what doesn't. The legend of trucker. <laughs> Uh, no adjustments? Nope, I do not. And I hope you're aware, John Ellison, that my map combos are available for anyone to try out themselves. Uh, what on earth, Quentin? You're going to Ireland? Uh, well, good luck to you. Uh, top of the world or whatever they say. You can't take a quick job in Russian open spaces. Well, have you uh, discovered any cities in Russian open spaces yet? No, we don't need to do any teleporting here. At least not today. Top of the morning, that's how you say it. <laughs> Trace, hey! <laughs> what you guys eat today? Uh, <laughs> these questions, burgers. The game crashed when you take a quick job. Uh, stop taking quick jobs. <laughs> um, could be that you have, uh, yeah, buy your own truck is one good way of solving it. But of course, to be able to do that, you need to do a quick job. Um, Rasmus, do you have any uh, truck or trailer mods perhaps on the same profile? Remove them. And try again. And of course, uh, you can always uh, post your game.log file on my Discord server. We have a support channel there. And we are 400 people on that channel. No, sorry, not on that channel, that Discord server already. So there's always someone there who's able to help you, or hopefully help you uh, okay so you have no trailer mods do you have any cargo mods or truck mods perhaps trace is the real Arias yes he is the man behind uh, Romania extended YKS RSK the man the myth the legend himself ha! <laughs> screw you fan pop <laughs> have some faith <laughs> there will be no CTDs um, Arias made sure we won't have any more CTDs <laughs> so we started in Copenhagen this morning and we've been hauling all the way down to uh, Croatia without <laughs> Arias could actually add something that makes us crash in Beograd. I wouldn't have the slightest idea until we reach Croatia. Uh, Rasmus, I'm pretty sure there is something you are doing wrong anyway. But again, please join our Discord server. Go to the support channel and post your game.log file and we'll have a look at it. I'm sure we can figure it out. Don't give him any ideas, guys, please. <laughs> Don't give Arias any ideas. 
Thanks, Rasmus. Look forward to having a look at the file. We will figure that out. There shouldn't be crashes just because you do uh, quick jobs. Thailand, if your PC is able to do the uh, Europe edition, it will be able to do the Pro Mods edition, as long as you have disk space, of course. Um, but it shouldn't have any major impact on your PC moving from the, glo uh, the uh, Europe edition to the Global edition. Are you calling this a toy truck Arias John H did you see that if you're still here Arias called the F-88 a toy truck uh, Octavian Simon no it does not uh, please ask uh, Bengan why it doesn't he love answering that question uh, Olaf we will continue this haul tomorrow and complete it tomorrow Uh, thanks, Cyberman. Please post a link to uh, to that English city names mod uh, by uh, David Lin, I think it is, uh, because I knew about it, but I couldn't find the um, original link to it. Parrot, yeah, I will definitely do the rest of this tomorrow. I think. <laughs> I think we should be able to do the rest of this tomorrow. Uh, Jarno, yes, you definitely... Um, you have the record now. It should be in the um, 2021 World uh, Book of Records. Plum, welcome! Yeah, I know. Uh, it's almost, it's getting close to 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, but still, we have to go to... Um, we just have to get to... Was it Zagreb? Oh, come on, sir. Give me some space here. Or not. Thank you for nothing. Yeah, we got pretty far south, uh, Plum. Uh, made some great progress today through Europe. Um, I knew we would make it all the way, but um, I'm pretty confident we can make the rest of this trip tomorrow. Hi, Leko. Welcome. And Swinger Play. Welcome. Come on, truck. Get up there. Thank you, Swinger Play. That's very nice of you. Very kind indeed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do more live streams. I've, I used to do quite a few of them before summer. But um, there were a gap there of about two months where I didn't do any at all. But now I'm back. Yeah, Mayuk, I hope you're not using my map combo for ATS because I really, really need to update that one. Are you asking me, Perid, which one will be the next? Um, uh, because the next one will... Uh, Quite possibly be um, Ross to Rock. Uh, Article 13, no, uh, it's not going to affect. Honestly, I don't think it's going to affect anyone, really. I think we're all going to be just fine. I do incorruptible, what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> well, Leco PR Gamer, nice to have you here.
if I'm linking to uh, the version 4.6 uh, trace, uh, that is probably because you are looking at one of my older videos. Uh, I'm not using that one anymore. Yeah, I've, but I still want to do it, Perid. <laughs> if we can't do that one, um, I think I'm going to do something on ATS. It's been a while since we did ATS. I think Jarno already is using 192. Um, at least if I remember it correctly, that's what I saw on the Discord. Uh, Liam, I work in IT. I do not drive a truck in real life. I kind of wish I did, but no, it's IT for me. At least for now. Let's see what happens in the future. Uh, I have no ID, Plum. Uh, Sierra Nevada, let me think. Uh, and nothing pops up in my head. Maybe. <laughs> the GPS is a little confusing right now. Olaf, thank you for being there. We will continue tomorrow. Probably at 6 a.m. Uh, a.m. Idiot. P.m. Of course. <laughs> Not a.m. Um, but we'll probably continue at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And try to make it all the way to... Um, uh, Akaba. And I think that's our destination for the day. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Liam. You haven't been watching much of my uh, live streaming then. <laughs> I have been kind of unfortunate with some of my hauling lately. So we're going to refuel and <coughs> excuse me, find somewhere to park for the night. And um, then we're gonna end for the day and continue again tomorrow. And I think we will be able to do that from. Whoa! Oops. Okay, so I'm supposed to park in there, okay? Hmm. Anyway. Uh, we are done for the day and um, we're gonna continue tomorrow 6 p.m. Central European time so an hour earlier than today I'm guessing and um, am I not supposed to be able to park here hello Seriously? Come on. There we go. Right. 
So, guys, that's it for today. Uh, Quentin, as long as you are on 1.9.2 YKSRSK, I'm not, I don't have to wish you luck because it will work. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here, and I hope to see every single one of you again tomorrow. Uh, let's make that decision. Let's just say we're going to start at 6 p.m. Central European time, one hour earlier than today, tomorrow. Uh, take care, everyone, and have a nice evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>